Yesterday, we spoke about all the different traits that we have that come from the animalistic soul, the nefesh hachiyonis or nefesh abahamis, two terms used. And we mentioned that the, this soul has its source, just like everything else in the world, has a source of the four yesoidais, the four elements. There are four elements that everything is created from. The ish, uh, ruach, mayim, and afar, fire, water, uh, ruach, wind, or air, and afar is uh, earth. And so these four things, there's also spiritual, and a spiritual level, these four things uh, com- are the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, are used to create the soul, the nefesh hachiyonis, and the nefesh that gives life, the soul that gives life. And we said that if a person gets angry, that means that in his soul, the level that's strong in his soul is the level of fire. Or if a person's very arrogant, it's the level of fire because fire jumps up. Uh, when you light a, fla- light a candle, the, the candle is constantly flickering above, trying to jump up. That's the idea of gaiva, of arrogance. And then we mentioned that pleasures come from water. That means the, the idea of water is having uh, a, a little uh, extra, there's a little extra water, the level of water in his soul. And therefore, he has great desires. He's a very um, indulging type of person. And then you have people that are, they waste a lot of their words. They're just very, um, they're, they're a lot of idle talk and a lot of uh, joking and, and uh, just uh, um, uh, frivolousness. And, and, uh, and that comes from the yesoid, the element of air. And then you have laziness and depression. And these come from earth. They just want to lie down and go to sleep or waste waste their time or feel they feel very low. And then we mentioned that there's also some positive traits that every yid has. And the positive traits that every yid has, Rachmanus, Gemilas Chasad, we have mercy. We're very merciful people. We also love to do kindness, Gemilas Chasadim. And we also are Baishanim. We get embarrassed. We're embarrassed. I believe that means from doing anything wrong, we are embarrassed. Um, but these three traits, the Gemara talks about, and I mentioned to you the story of the Gevainim, that they didn't have these three traits, and therefore David HaMelech uh, said that we can't marry into their into their uh, families because of this, th- this issue, even though they converted to Judaism. But we saw that they never really got this these three positive traits of the Yidden. And... Um, and therefore, uh, it wasn't appropriate for them to uh, inter- to marry into 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 us and to to ruin our purity of of having these these special unique traits. And and we mentioned the reason why why is oh no I think that's where we're up to. So we'll start now with mentioning. I'll mention now the reason why we have these positive. How how do you have positive traits in an animal soul? And the answer is. Because Kibi Yisrael, that's where we're up to. Kibi Yisrael never sued the Klippa because uh, by a Yid, the, the godly soul, I'm sorry, by a Yid, never sued the Klippa, this, this, uh, this soul that's connected or that's a source is Klippa, which we mentioned was the shell, the level of impurity. It's not a regular impurity. He meklipas noiga. It's the impurity of light. Sheyesh ba gam kein toiv, that also has good in it. Basically, there's a verse in Ezekiel, Yechezkel, that talks about uh, the ruach sa'ara, onon gadol, and esh mislakachas. It's, uh, of course, very poetic words, but it's uh, some strong wind, uh, uh, thick cloud, big cloud, and the uh, fire. And it mentions there a fourth thing, and that there's light surrounding it. So Kabbalistically, what these verses mean and it's, is, is that in the level of impurity, there, in other words, the verses there are talking about the chariot of Hashem, but everything is, has its counterpart. And the counterpart is in the level of impurity, you have these three levels of klipos, 
which are the, the, the fire, the wind, and, the, and the, um, the, the cloud, these levels of impurity are the lowest levels. But then there's the noiga savivle, the light that surrounds it. That's the fourth level of impurity. That's not a full-fledged impurity. That is somewhere in between. That's where our soul, our animal soul comes from. So it has a little good, it has light. It's called klipas noiga. And now there is a question here. And the question is, how do we know that the, the good traits that the Jewish people have, Rachmanim, Baishonim, and Goimle Chasonim, we're merciful, we're bashful, and we are, um, uh, we do acts of kindness. How do we know that these traits come from our animal soul? Maybe the reason why we have these traits is because we have a neshama, we have a godly soul, and maybe these traits are coming from our godly soul. How do we know that it's really coming from the animal soul, and the animal soul has good in it, and it, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the reason we have these traits is because of our godly soul? And the answer is, anything that comes from our godly soul, it takes work. It, 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 it wouldn't uh, reveal itself without work. That's the way Hashem created things that we need to work uh, in order to, uh, to, 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 to develop midas toivish, to develop good midas, so, um, and to develop matters from our godly soul. They come from work. Nothing comes for free. If something's coming from free, it's coming from the other side. It's coming from the, 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 the negative side. And, and that's, the, that's the idea of these three traits that we're getting them, it's obviously coming, they, they come naturally. That means that they come without avoida, without work. And they come from our animal soul. Now, so we, we just mentioned that by a yid, our animal soul is connected to klipas noiga, sheyesh bo gamkein toif, that also has good in it. It's not only negativity it's not only impurity and which means that our soul is different than a guy's soul a non-jew would have a different soul wouldn't have this we have this soul called that's from klipas noiga that has light and even though it's an animal soul and even though it's from the level of impurity klipa but nevertheless it's called klipas noiga the klipa of with the light and therefore, it is uh, has some positive traits to it, and vehi misoid eitz hadas tuivera. In this klipa, the deeper connection is that it's from the 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 soid, the, the secret of eitz hadas tuivera. It's like the tree of knowledge that has good and bad, and. Um, There's a combination. There's a mixture of good and bad in it. And we're gonna have we have negative traits, of course. And we also have good traits, but they're all they're they're uh, mixed in this animalistic soul. Not this way is the nations of the world. They come from other klipois. The other three klipas, she'ein bahen toif klal, they do not have any good. Kamesh HaKosov be'etz chayim, like it says in Eitz chayim, shar memtes, peragimel, this is not the Alter Rebbe innovating this idea. This is based on Eitz chayim, the, the Ari HaKadosh's writings. And uh, that's why the nations of the world do not have, um, they, they come from a different source. Their soul is a different source. Their battery, it's a whole different battery. And therefore, they don't have any good in them. Now, what does that mean? There are some very righteous Goyim. And everyone knows that. Um, so, the, the, the Tanya doesn't deal, doesn't talk about the, the Hasidei, um, 
the Hasidei Umas Ha'olam in a reveal, you know, Tanya doesn't really mention it. It's mentioned in the commentary, um, um, you know, in the commentaries of the Tanya, they, they discuss that the, uh, the, there, there is a concept of, uh, uh, of, uh, of, of, of Hasidei Umas Ha'olam that there could be uh, that have get the world to come, they merit the world to come, and they actually are connected to Klipas Noiga, and surprisingly enough, that there, there are some Goyim that are connected to Klipas Noiga. Now, um, the Alter Rebbe finishes off, all the good that the nations do. Now, there's a lot of good that we see that the good that the Goyim do, there's two types. So one is what the Tanya mentions here. Lagar Maihu Abdin. They do it for themselves. They do these great things, but really they're benefiting from it. They want votes, so they'll do something really nice for the Yidden. They want to get publicity. They want to get honor. They want to, they, they, you know, they want to, they don't want to go, they, they don't want to feel guilty. You know, whatever the good that they do, they're doing it because of themselves. Lagar Maihu Abdin. They do it for themselves. This is Gemara al Like the Gemara says in Basra, it says on a Pasuk in Mishle that. In, in, in Proverbs, that chesed l'umim, the kindness of the goyim, is a sin. All the, the goodness that they do, enon elo is only to um, show off. And with that, we've concluded chapter one of the Tanya. So there is a concept of goyim doing, uh, doing favors to be able to show off or feel good. And but there is this other element of, um, of, 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 of Goyim that actually are righteous. And I'm not talking about if they convert. If they convert to Judaism, then they get a, a Jewish soul and so on. But if they don't convert, and um, the, uh, you know, so, so, so the Alter Rebbe here is just talking in general. But there is a, uh, there, there is a, there is a concept of Hasidi Yom where I, I believe, uh, uh, I believe the Gemara talks about Hasidi of Islam. I know in Rambam it mentions that they merit Olam Haba, but it uh, must be based on a Gemara that the, the Hasidi of Islam, they actually are connected to a to a, uh, a soul that's also Klipas Noiga, that's from this Klipa of, of light, and they're able to, um, to actually do good. They're actually able to do good not only for themselves. And that is, and, and, and what does it mean that the Goyim do everything for themselves? It means that they, if they don't get the publicity from what they want, what they expected, they'll actually feel bad. That they, in other words, you can also do things and they want publicity. But what happens if they don't get the publicity? So by a yid, they'll say, you know what, I'm still, it's okay. At least, uh, at least I helped the person. I didn't get the publicity that I wanted, but at least the person benefited. Oh, at least, uh, you know, they, uh, uh, you know, I'm happy I did the mitzvah. But by a guy, if he does, if he does it for the publicity, if, if he does it, he's doing it for the publicity. If he doesn't get the publicity, he actually feels bad that he that he didn't get the publicity what he wanted. In other words, it's not essential what he did as much as the the publicity is essential. Anyway, have a wonderful Shabbos, everyone.